I mean, we'll do it this way. Traps inversed. Not liking that, though. Hopefully, he will get unstuck around that edge and come back to me. Guanodons are fast, though. And I really... There's, he's running at raptors. I, are you kidding me? Alrighty guys, welcome back to some more arc where today we're going to be continuing where we left off here on aberration. Now, first things first, um, after yesterday's episode and I got Doc his Cosmo, uh, what we did is we went off, I built me a shack and I went and got me all the resources I needed to go get me a forge and a smithy. And I also went and got a mortal and pestle built up. That is about it. But you may also notice that there is another Cosmo sitting here chilling. I went out and I tamed up a level 55 female Cosmo. So that way I can breed them. And when everyone else here hops on the server, I can go out and I can gift them eggs. But as of right now, I am the only one that is on the server. So what I think I'm going to do is we're going to run out real quick. We're going to go harvest some more metal. And I'm going to work on getting me all metal tools and metal gear here for the first half of this video. And then maybe later on, we'll go out and tame up a Ravenger. So now in terms of actual metal tools, all I need is some trees. And luckily, if I just go up here from my base, I got all these mushroom trees just dangling next to my base. And this is literally where I've been going to harvest resources. Luckily with the Cosmos as well, I highly recommend just try and find you guys a low level one early on in the game. Uh, you can kill a trilobite to get the uh, chitin to tame them. It, they're extremely easy. They'll help you get around so much more. It's why I want to gift everyone one once they uh, get on. But here's the problem we are having with the eggs right now. This map is kind of hot. Like, it's too hot just to hatch them out in the open. I might actually have to work on getting air conditioners at some point this week. So that way everyone can hatch up their own Cosmo. But in terms of weaponry, we just got ourselves a metal pick and a metal hatchet. Um, anything else that we can get? No, I don't think I'm high enough level for any of the other metal tools. If I scroll down here, we can see. Yeah, uh, we're level 24 right now. All we have access to is the metal pick and axe. Um, I would love to get the crossbow and the pike as well today, along with a full set of flak. So we might need to... Ooh, how far off is flak? I might have to go for chitin. Oh, and as well, we might need to set up some sort of uh, pipeline. So just so I can get water up to my base. Now, don't freak out, guys. I'm kind of freaking out because <laughs> I missed the first shot. This is how I've been getting water. I literally just jump down here and then pull myself back up with the Cosmo. It's pretty easy. These guys are actually really fun to play with. So if you guys, again, don't have one, just go for a low level one. It's going to help you out so much. Um, even though the higher the level, the more uh, webbing you get. That's the only downside. I have noticed though here as uh, the main one I'm using, as I use him more and more, he does get more and more webbing. Or the more I level him up, he gets more and more. So. And just like that, I am now back up at my base and it does seem as well when you have the cosmo equipped you do take reduced fall damage but you still take fall damage do keep that in mind it just seems reduced while you have it equipped so now what i'm gonna do first off here is let's run and get some metal um or hold up what level does flak unlock at because i might need to run and like try and level up as well um I have to be level 56. That is a good 30 more levels away. What about... Uh, what is it? Ah, we need that one. The one with the bugs. The chitin armor. Keratin armor? What level is that? I feel like that one is level... 15 or something? No. I do got hide gear on, but I do want to improve. Um, 
Trying to find it. It might be level 34. Uh, we Yeah, it's level 37. I technically get Gilly before that. So, I don't know. Uh, we might try and find drops. But I'm going to go and find some metal. I'm going to quickly look at Rask Clock's video for resources on Aberration. Just so that way I'm not spending all day hunting for it. So, I'm going to be full honest with you. What I am doing here is a little scary. Um, I'm currently running down the portal bridge. We're trying to get over to the blue zone. Now, problem is, is I don't quite have a good glow pet. I mean, the spider here does count, but he doesn't give me, like, the same protection. There's pyromains. I did not know pyromains sp spawned on this map. Okay. That's something now we have to watch out for as well. Okay, I'm kind of getting over to where I want to be. It's just a little sketchy. Because I'm running low on webbing. And, alright, let, let me pull myself up on this cliff. I'm going to check my map real quick. Kind of figure out where I am. And, and see if I'm getting close to the place I want to be. Um... Somewhat. We need to keep heading kind of northeast, I guess is what it would be. But I'm going to wait here and wait for my uh, Cosmo to be fully charged. And there we go. So, there is the blue zone. There is the waterfall I've been trying to make my way to. Once we get around this rock here... Or, you know what, let's do this. I'll pull myself up and we'll stand on top of these. Just so that way we got the high ground. That's the nice part about the Cosmo as well. You always have the high ground. Boom, there we go. But that's the waterfall I was looking for. Now, if I'm correct, that there, all those rocks on top of that, those should give me metal. But this is getting a little, little bit risky for me. Because we're getting... Uh, into the blue zone where nameless spawn people so I want to be extra careful okay gonna need a bit more of a swing on this one this is a uh, uh, getting scary because as soon as I let go of this I really want to place on the ceiling to attach. Huh? Anywhere? Anywhere, please? No? What the heck? There's no spots. Oh, you know what? I know what? These roots probably have the invisible ceiling below or before them. Anything closer I can grapple onto? Okay. I got to figure this out. Okay. I've been slowly making it. It just doesn't seem like I'm close enough to any of these branches to grab them. I'd like to grab onto that next. But, again, it's the same ceiling. All these root things above us, they have the invisible wall before them. So you can't really get close. And I think I'm as lowered as I can get. There's got to be... Maybe a different place of metal I can go for. But I'm pretty sure that there is going to be my safest bet. It's just scary. Oh, okay, okay, we got it, we got it, we got it, we got it. Ooh, boom. That would hurt. Oh, But I took a leap of faith. I paused for some reason. I should have uh, been recording that. That was actually kind of awesome. Um, But we are grappled right onto the platform I want to be at. So, uh, let's just start reeling ourselves in. Please tell me I got it right on a good spot. Doesn't seem like it. Uh-oh. This doesn't seem good. There we go. I think I got it on a very weird spot. 
and uh, I need to find a place where I can kind of land myself down. All right. There we go. Now we can recharge our webbing and think this through. There we go. I found a nice spot where I can now pull myself up. There we go. Now, if I'm correct, it's these big, long rocks that I was told are the blue zone metal rocks. So let's make this quick before Nameless starts spawning. Not quite. I was told certain ones of these are just going to start giving me a bunch of metal, like this one. So we just got to keep on farming and figuring out which ones are which. The only thing I can tell that like indicates which ones are the ones with metal, see like how I'm hitting it? It starts glowing blue at the point of impact. Like that's the only thing I can say like that indicates it's a metal one. Oh no, it's this one has a metal one inside of it. It's that one's not a metal one. Okay, so the blue isn't part of that. Huh. I really don't have a way then to distinguish. Oh, the small ones. See these small ones? They're the ones that are given metal. And I'm out of energy. Alright. I'm not... I was expecting the aimless to be showing up by now. So I'm just going to kind of chill here. I'm going to be ready for them to show up. But I'm just going to get as much metal as physically possible to fit on my character. I might... Uh, I'll keep the stone as well, just because I know I'm going to need it here in the future. So, but I'm going to just keep on gathering all these small ones so I can get as much metal as I can. Okay, I quite literally got so much metal now. I believe I should be done. Uh, you know, what, I'm going to break this one last rock here, and then we're going to go. But I'm pretty sure I should be good on metal here for a hot minute. Uh, we might have to do another run here some other day because this isn't going to be like you know my forever stash uh i'm definitely gonna have to do another run but that there is at most 750 metal once i get it refined that is quite a bit just for this one little hole now i gotta find a way to get back there safely and i think i just found my path haha -ha. I did. Oh, 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 there we go. It's having a little bit of a difficulty there latching on. Because if you latch on at the top, it does not stick. I'm going to drop down a bit here so that way I can get a nice bit of a swing going. Okay, we're back to the waterfall. I'm just pulling myself up. And then we should probably wait to get more... Uh, webbing so that way I can get home but yeah we should be good here on the metal so I will get back to you guys once I am all the way home okay so I'm not quite home yet I'm running past Gong's place right now um his house is quite literally around the corner from Doc so if I just quickly do a swing here Doc's house is literally behind this wall there's Doc's Gong's is around the corner and my house from everyone else's is up here. I decided to build on top of the wall. But we are back home. Let's hop in here. We'll drop off all the metal. We'll turn this back on. Grab you out of there. Um, but we'll throw all the extra stone and the metal here into the smithy. Um, we did get a level up while we were out there. So I should technically be able to make a pike and a crossbow now so let's go do that uh ranged weaponry i need more fiber for that i can do that easily but melee boom there we go we got the pike crafting up so i was thinking about this especially when i was grabbing the fiber and the berries um so going for a ravenger yes is a good idea but i was wondering if maybe i should go for a baby not a baby gatherer a berry gatherer i'm losing my mind people but i'm wondering if i should go tame a trike or even a, a stego something that would just be good for getting berries now the problem is is i'd have to find a way to get them up to my base with uh Without cryopods, because we are we are a long ways from cryopods. I guess I could technically store my creatures at gongs or dock spaces down there, just because it's a safe place for them. 
But I think, yeah, that's what we're going to go do. We're going to go try and find a Stego or even a Triceratops here. Just so that way I can get a proper berry gatherer. Alrighty, so got my crossbow crafted now. We are going to get some narcotics going here. I'm definitely going to have to go get a bunch more narco berries. So, wonder if I should just go tame a Parasaur. Because I know for a fact a Parasaur would be a lot better at a getting berries early early on like I need right now I'll think about it so I have decided I'm going to be taming this level 95 female triceratops down there in portal I'm going to make a small stone box trap so I'm going to need four foundations here a couple walls and some ramps so I'm going to work on getting these crafted up and then we will go and tame it I do got some narcotics going. I think I'm only going to have... I should definitely shoot for like... 90. I know for a fact though. This is going to take forever getting the berries. I might just sit back here for a little bit. Uh, watch a video and just... Clean this top part out of berries. Because that's probably what I need to do right now. To get that level 95. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to just sit back here real quick. Because I still do need to get some more stuff. Like wood for the trap. Um, so I'm going to just sit back. I'm going to get the last of the resources and berries I need. And yeah, then I'm going to get back to you guys. Okay, just dropping off what's left of the narcotics I got. Looks like we're going to have about 53. So that's not bad. The only thing I'm worried about is like once we do get it knocked out, keeping it knocked out. Okay, so... I'm looking for my Triceratops, and I can't find it, but there does appear to be a level 80 or something over here. Got to kind of shuffle through them. Yes, there's two level 80s over here. Now, one of them is a baby, and it does come with a mutation. Um, So, I think that's what I'm going to go for. All I have left to do now is craft up my Trank Arrows, and I'm just waiting for my Narcotics to finish. And we should be good to go. Okay, waiting for my last 15 arrows to craft up. I was able to get, what, about 72 or so narcotics. I do got 20 more still crafting up in there. And then I also got a bunch, and I mean a bunch of the, was it the sleeping uh, mushrooms? The narcotic mushrooms, those ones as well. So if we do end up needing more, we do got that as a backup supply. Um... But I need to figure out what would be the best way to get this Triceratops into the trap. Also, I am sorry. I just noticed that my game got messed up at some point during this long recording session. Uh, I'm sorry. I just fixed it. So, my bad. And we're going to swing on down. I think what we're going to do is... Because they're down there. What if I build the trap up here and then try and draw them up to the trap? That's probably the best option. Listen, uh, the plan has changed from the Triceratops yet again. There's a 145 Iguanodon down in here. Problem is right now is that something is preventing me from placing structures. And I know for a fact I have it so that way structure placement prevention. It, it shouldn't be blocking me from placing anything anywhere. Alrighty, there we go. I just did a quick reload on the server. I'm pretty sure the problem here should be fixed. Ooh, my Cosmo. I can't forget my little buddy. Oh, also, guys, please do be dropping a name for this little man down in the comment section. He needs one. Please, I need one for him because I'm not that creative. But as you guys can see here now, I can technically place down the trap. Now, I don't know why I couldn't beforehand... I had the structure, like the, you know, the setting. I had it toggled, but for some reason, uh, Nitrato would not update it. So, like, it was toggled. It just, on the server, I had to go, like, manually into the config and update it, you know? Okay, so I am back from getting water. We should now, like, as said and done, we should now be able to get this Iguanodon into the trap. Hopefully. Gonna wait for him to kind of walk out that way. A bit more. I don't... I missed. Uh, 
Um, this is not working. I mean, we'll do it this way. Traps inversed. Not liking that, though. Hopefully he will get unstuck around that edge and come back to me. Guanodons are fast, though. And I really... There's He's running at raptors. I Are you kidding me? The 145 Iguanodon just ran into a pack of raptors. Ah, oh, dang it. Um. I got a feeling that they're going to eat it. Or, okay. Luckily, those raptors went after the Stego. But the Iguanodon now, it's... I don't know. I might just try and get some of the raptors in the trap at this point. They're gonna go after the Iguanodon. Yep, they killed it. Um, I really don't know what to do now. I want to say that I'm going to try and hit them with the shooter. But that was the 145. Now we got these raptors and no iguanodon. Okay. Let me pick up the trap. Come on. There we go. I gotta go find a different creature now. Great. I like the fact I reloaded the server and then oh, those raptors spawned in. I even reloaded the server just so I could place things down to tame that iguanodon. And that, yeah, that's just saddening. Okay, our hopes of a high level iguanodon are not completely ruined. There is a 130 this way out. So, if I can just quickly get a grapple, I'm going to start making my way to that one. That one should be at the base of Portal. Problem is, is I don't know how I'm going to get it up. There's got to be another Iguanodon up here. I should look harder. Okay, so, Iguanodons. We got this 125 in the back. No, re research. Boom. You know what? Let's go for the 125 back here. It's just getting so irritating. I'm just... Yeah, those raptors. Uh, I need something to help take those out. Fortunately, I don't have that yet. Okay. So, our Guanadon is straight that way. I'm going to rebuild the trap here real quick. And then we're going to go for this. Okay, trap is built. I gotta get eyes on this Iguanodon. There's a bunch of stuff in my way. Okay, we gotta do this quick. Okay, so trap is straight back that way. Run, 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 run. Come on. Dang it, there's two of them. I need to quit wasting arrows. I guess I can just use this as like a shield trap. Where it protects me from them. I 
I know there's another one around. I'm going to have to chase after him, though, because it's going to be exactly what happened last time. Oh, it was a trick! Where's my trap? Where's my trap? You gotta be careful. Alright, he's passing out soon. That trap is completely useless to me right now. Um, the Cosmo, like, just grappling the ground and jump, like, jump spamming is insanely helpful. Okay. No other Iguanodons aggroed onto me right now, right? No, doesn't seem like it. I'm going to run over here real quick, grab my trap. We're going to kind of build it around him in a way. If that's, you guys understand that? And we're going to build, like, protection now for him. It's nice that I can grapple to the ground like that and pull myself forward. So, what I should do is that and then yeah because that's now my way out but yeah we got we got it 125 female iguanodon she's knocked out um, I need to figure out what her favorite berries are. That's the one thing I can never remember, is what their favorite berries are. I'm going to click over here on the any real quick, or Dodo Dex, technically. And I'm going to search up in Iguanodon. My Dodo Dex won't load, damn. Okay. Uh, I guess it's just going to be Medjo Berries or something. So, I'm going to need to run and get something to drink here. And while I do that, I guess he will starve up a bit and then we'll come back. We're going to throw a bunch of Medjo berries inside of him. Or her, so that way she gets uh, tamed. And then, yeah, that's going to probably be it for this episode. Okay, on my way back now. I'm kind of looking for a small creature to chop up real quick as well. Because I need... Three, was it three or seven more hide to make uh, the saddle for the iguanodon? Well, I can't seem to find like even a bulb dog. I don't know why, but they're not appearing for me, and it's annoying. Should definitely land here and get some more string. Um, I'm pretty sure I just saw two basculus over yonder, so. We need to be careful. There we go. Let's... Now... Oh, is it not going to let me in? Don't worry. I got my own way in. Swing that way. I'm caught on the rock. Dang it. I know another way. Okay, I'll figure this out. Nope. Alright, I gotta be moving to actually do the pull. No, it doesn't seem to be. Okay. No, oh, overshot it. I got it to work now. I gotta grapple the ground. If I grapple the ceiling, it doesn't work. There we go. We're in the box. And 
You you look exactly like how I do when I wake up sleeping, just in a tangled mess. But uh, here you... Mm, hold up, I'm actually going to search this up, because Dodo Dex did load. It says he doesn't even like berries. I really hope this is going to work. Oh, it's going to be like 2% per berry, okay. Just dump all this in you then. Hopefully here you eat up and we don't take all day. Alrighty, so I also did just find me a bulb dog here that I can hike to get hide from. Oh, you're attacking me, why? I've noticed that sometimes they'll turn around and attack you. Oh, it's because they got... Mm. Did I claim you? Yeah, but I don't need you. There we go. I'm now going to get back to the trap. He is, or she is, at 59%. Almost there. This might take a hot minute. I'm just going to pick up this wall so I can get in and out. And what we'll do is this. Boom. Simple hut. Or simple trap. Protection box, I guess is what it is. I'm going to eat my meat. And yeah. Quickly craft up this Iguanodon saddle. But for you guys, I'm pretty sure I'm going to call it here for this video. Because all I'm going to be doing here is waiting up for the Iguanodon to tame and then going and getting berries. So if you guys have found yourself at any point today enjoying this episode, please do consider leaving a like and subscribing. Do also go check out the other YouTubers' perspectives on this server. Uh, I know Gong and Doc do have their episodes out right now. I will have a link to their channel in the description. Um, but do also remember to ring the notification bell. This has been Gunshot Mori, signing out. Peace. Yeah.